Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be continuing with our part 2 video from the previous video when we are setting up the Modbus RTU communications with our uh, Modicon M221 uh, and ATV320 drive. So guys, if you haven't watched the previous video when we did a setup of the drive, setup of the controller and checked out how to uh, make sure the communication is working and, and all is up and running. So do check out the previous video, this is part one. This is the part two where we're going to be jumping into programming. So yes, uh, not much to talk about it. We're just going to jump straight in it. And don't forget all the related manuals and everything that I believe will benefit you in a possible way. Also the mapping video, mapping manuals and everything I could possibly think would help you uh, in any possible way is going to be in the description below so do check it out so without further ado let's get started <music> Alrighty, here we are. So we are back. So let's jump straight into the program. Here's our drive is all set up and ready to go. Let's jump into programming. So to get start, get you started programming, there's there's one thing is what Dryer Schneider has done made it easy for us to understand and work with uh, with the control word itself and the frequency. So uh, the and they created a, a function blocks for us. As you can see, though, if you click on the icon, like looking like that. It's actually, what's that, what the icon is called in there? Should we call function blocks? Whatever. So uh, right down here, as you see, is drive. So drive objects. And as you can see, Schneider has done quite a lot of work for us to make our lives easy. So these 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 function blocks will be accessing the control word inside the drive directly for us. We're not going to have to do much of it apart from just turning things on and off. Easy peasy. Easy to work with. So I like it. Except the frequency. I could not somehow work out the how to uh, change the frequency in here except ac uh, accessing moving the moving data into the frequency word directly so we're going to check that out in a minute as well so what we're going to do now we're going to quickly jump into animation stable and we're going to create animation stable if you don't know what animation stable is it's basically you create a table where you can uh, uh, interact with values uh, with, with interact with the is monitor basically monitor or interact or well do whatever you want uh, with the with the actual uh, words bits and whatever all sorts of things you can do there so we can do we're gonna do add both of the drives uh, output uh, words into this table so we can interact when we need it so uh, let's uh, we're gonna call this uh, let's just do call that uh, ATV 320 uh, Right, so we're not going to do the monitoring of uh, inputs. Not really interested in that at the moment. So we can need to, and to find out all the addresses that I prefer, uh, particularly for this drive, go into network objects. As you can see, it's input scanner, IO scanner, and output registers. So input uh, registers and output registers. So we, we are interested in, in uh, output uh, registers. So there they are. So these are the addresses inside that specific drive, the one we are working with. All right. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to put those, what was the address actually? It's a QWN. So let's go into here and type in QWN. And there it is. So uh, add into our table. So you don't have to do this. I'm just going to do that so we can, uh, you can actually see how the value is changing inside the drive as we activate in bits. So, and then we can also we can do one and add that as well in there. So I'm happy with that. So let's get started. So let's add the rank. And the first thing we're going to need to do, we need to uh, enable our drive. So uh, we are going to go straight into, as you can see, uh, MC Power ATV. Let's grab that one. And come on. And we're going to add that right in here. Oh, come on. Click on it. As you can see, it says MC Power ATV. It shows red because his axis is not being set up. Axis is, is looking for what drive. As you can see in here, if you go into none, you can add uh, 16 drives on a, on on one uh, network, on this particular network. So it's quite a lot actually. So you've got a lot of choice in there. So we remember, if you're going to actually select that one in here and it clicks apply, that was our first drive. Remember, we set that up in here. So if you go into configurations and uh, address, as you can see, drive address is drive zero. Remember, that's what we did last time. So here we go. So we have changed that. We're not going to bother with the outputs of uh, status outputs and errors. And we're not going to do that. We just want to enable that drive. So what we're going to do in here, we are going to put a internal bit M. 
which you're gonna call M0. Basically, this is gonna be uh, enabling our drive. So uh, once you've done that, so let's load this in. So let's have a look how that works. So uh, let's go online. Come on, don't let me down. We are online now, so let's go in here, PC to controller. Let's load in. I'll quickly uh, pu pull up the camera so you can see as well what's going on within the drive screen. So you can all see it. So uh, we're going to stay online. We're going to put the put the uh, controller into the run mode and we're going to go into the programming. And we're going to activate this bit in here. If you will have any errors with communications, it will come in here. Ooh. Just get off it. It will come in here. Output error. As you can see, we've got no zero. So then we're going to activate one. As you can see, if there will be error, it will show the error. So communications issues and things like that. As you can see, there we got no error. But if you look onto the screen of the, we don't. We are not even connected. One second. My apologies. Completely forgot to connect the camera to so to show you what it is. As you can see now on the screen. It shows we run, so it basically is is ready to run. It's just looking to uh, looking for the information where to run to go backwards, forwards, or what. So that's exactly what we're going to be creating now with that as well. So basically, this is just a basic going. Obviously, there's quite a lot more program you can do with it, and basically to give you the idea, what can you do, and uh, pretty much you can really go from there. So uh, let's turn this off. So and that should return back to ready. So here we go. So that's done. So let's leave. And let's create another rank. So where are we going to be adding a for the drive to go forward and or a reverse? So let's do that. So let's go into the drive and jog. That's the one. So you can see in here it's got forwards and backwards. So a drive is already there because I already was playing with it. So that's already been set up. So uh, and we're going to be adding a couple of uh, addresses in here. So we're going to add that. And we're going to add that and as well make them as uh, internal addresses. So make sure that camera is not on my screen. And that's going to be M1. Thank you. So let's take that one. And let's call you M2. So now these two bits is going to allow the drive to go forward to reverse. So uh, let's uh, pump that in. Let's have a look what that looks like on the uh, screen. All right, so let's bump that in. PC to controller. So I'm hoping you guys, you already starting to understand the, the sort of an idea how that would work in a minute. We're going to set up my frequency as well. So uh, let's put a play. So make sure that we are in a run. Otherwise, nothing's going to work. So let's enable the drive. So we are going to run mode in there, so you can see, and let's put that on in there. So let me just move the camera a little bit up, so you can see now the drive is uh, saying zero frequency. It, says, it pretty much says, I don't have a frequency, I don't know what to do with it. And the frequency, as you can see, values down here in this word is changing as we, uh, as uh, this, is the, this, is, this is the register. So uh, I will leave uh, a manual in the description below where you might want to look at the bit mapping if you wish to. So uh, it's all there. So if you want to read up on it, if, if you want to get a bit deeper. So but we don't really need to because most of it is all here, really. So uh, as you can see, the the enable uh, uh, run forward is 15. Happy days. So uh, I've done that. So let's leave now that we've done that. So we need to create some form of frequency. As you can see, the enable alone is 4,307. That would be the value you would have to send in if you wouldn't you use the the function blocks in here. So uh, let's uh, do that. So and then that changed to 4,358. Again, don't pay too much on this because you're not going to be using much because we are trying to stay as easy as possible. So next up, let's uh, leave and create a, a frequency. So frequency, we're going to be using a move instruction, which is basically going to send the data into the a frequency register, which is which is uh, this guy in here or in our right uh, guy is here. This one is here. They will accept our frequency. So uh, it's frequency register and frequency register. Uh, the scaling is from zero to 1500. Zero would be a zero frequency and 1500 will be a, whatever the max frequency you set up in your drive. In my case, it's 50 frequency. So and I do to make that happen and work. Let's add another 
another rank. And don't forget to take down that screen so you can actually see what I'm doing. Right like that. So uh, so in here, what we're going to do, we're going to take the short. So basically make sure that's always on. And we're going to be using a our operations block from here. So and we're going to add that one right in here. So uh, the way Schneider writes is a uh, moo instruction is a little bit opposite the other guys I was working with. So uh, what we're going to do first, we need to write up the word where we are sending the data to. So we're going to be sending data to this guy. Okay, so we're going to say uh, type up percent Q W N 100 dot zero dot one. And, and then we're going to do the space and, and then we're going to do the double dots like that. So I keep forgetting what they are called. And then we're going to say, how oh, is it equal or less or uh, uh, equal and less and so on. Pretty much you get a gist, but we want it to be equal. So we're going to say equal for whatever the word we're sending it from. So we're going to be using the memory, internal memory word, which you can, by the way, after that, just put on your HMI, and like that, and you can send the data backwards, forwards. Basically, you can do everything well, as long as you are able to send into the word, into the into the data register, which is for the frequency, uh, you can, uh, within, for the internal memory word, uh, you can uh, sort of do what you please with it after that. So we're going to be using a percent, and the first memory word that is, uh, in 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 obviously in all the PLCs will be zero, so memory or zero will do fine just for now. So if all goes well, your uh, block in here will show up green like so. So I've done that. So let's load that in. So uh, let's go online. On that. So and let's load the PC to controller. Let's pump that in. And this will be the last uh, last uh, rank that we're going to be creating in this video. Hopefully by now. You can start, stop the drive, and uh, change the frequency and so on. And you're well on your way to progressing. Well, later on in the video, so we're going to be adding a cage uh, my screen, and we're going to be expanding this a little bit more. So I've done that. So it is in uh, run. So in a program, and uh, so let's see on the screen. So let me just create the screen a little bit bigger so you can still see what we are doing in here. So that should be just fine. Hopefully you can see. If, you, if you're watching PC, do create and make sure you're in the highest quality and uh, you are a, uh, 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 as a well, the full screen. So run mode, let's go into a, a forward and we will, we need to send in some form of frequency. You can actually edit the frequency in here because this is our animation stable. We can do it in here if you want to. So as you can see in here, well, actually we can't. We can't change it in here because we need to uh, send it in here from here because that one's going to be constantly changing it back to zero. So we have to do it from here. So click on the memory word zero and type in, let's say 500. Send. And here we go. The drive is on and it is running at a 16 frequency. Let me just... Uh, Make the screen a little bit bigger. As you can see, drive now is running at 50 frequency and is receiving that information from the actual PLC via the mod bus. So, uh, and let's do full. So why not? So let's add, oh, one right in front of it. And there we go. And that should end up as a 50 hertz. That, ladies and gentlemen, is it. So, and then you can go in here. You can turn it off if you want to. It can go in backwards if you want to. So, and so on, and so on. So guys, this is where you can really start expanding your ideas on what you want to do with your drive using your a uh, M221 Modicon PLC. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will do for this video. Hopefully this was helping you out and uh, giving you a good understanding how to get things going and uh, how things are working within Schneider Electric's uh, Machine Expert Basic. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you like the video. Do subscribe if you're new to the channel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you in the next video.